then we have next one from Tanvir he says question roundtable is GDD a good way to go if you are just starting to unit test um, unit testing um, first off I would have to say that personally I don't have a lot of experience with teams uh, development teams that are doing unit testing um, but when they do, uh, but I have certainly been on teams which have talked about and they are struggling and trying to get there. What happens with TDD is, or unit testing in general is, usually unless there's a real strong push from management to have these unit tests in place, it's not going to happen. And because there's a lot of perceived overhead in writing those unit tests and maintaining them and doing that test, you know. So they, they really are not in a, usually not in a mood to do that, those unit tests. So, and if you go after something, in some cases, TDD, if some teams feel that's a bit, you know, difficult for them to reach, I'd recommend even starting from somewhere where the whole team is comfortable with make it a routine make it a habit to have unit tests of some form um, it can be as easy or you know as trivial as they can create them but just get in the habit of doing it first once you have a system in place where unit tests are a part of your development process and there's always um, points allocated in your sprint for this once that's in place, then I'd recommend you can, you know, look into different good practices and see to begin with. Yes, it is definitely it's um, it's famous and uh, a lot of people are doing it. Uh, VDD as well. Um, but I'd rather start with something where to which the team would stick with instead of having something which might generate better results, but eventually people just don't you know add unit tests anymore so that's uh, that's what i think about that um 